so we are currently, um, by some accord, entering into what some are calling the Pyrocene, an age dominated by fires. Mostly what we see right now in terms of climate change and the interaction between fires is that as with other types of weather phenomenon, they are becoming more in intense and more severe. So we're talking about fires which are now uh, burning outside the threshold of our control, which makes it much more devastating when it's impacting areas that are um, inhabited by, by humans. Most wildfires are being caught at a much later stage in the process, when the trees are already on fire, when it's already visible from 10 kilometers so far, and smoke plumes are rising above the canopy, but then you already have a catastrophe in the making. So we believe there's a better way. We believe by using essentially an e-nose, uh, being able to smell the wildfire as it starts, that we can have a detection within minutes and act uh, within minutes. So during the course of their evolution, wild animals have developed an extreme sensitive sense of smell that is able to detect changes in air composition from kilometers away. And this is exactly what we're trying to replicate here at, at Triad. Now that we have SilverNet, which can detect fires within minutes from ignition, the next logical step is also to work on the extinguishing side. So how about if we could detect and extinguish a wildfire within 10 minutes from ignition? There's currently no other solution that can detect and the ability to fully autonomously launch a system that can reach the wildfire location. This is revolutionary uh, in terms of wildfire combat. At the moment we have a source of fire here. The sensors can already detect it and through that we get a warning signal. The responders can already look at their mobile device, see the footage from the drone and make a decision. Do we need more people? Where exactly is the fire location? This way we can receive critical information that otherwise be impossible. This drone launches and can get there before responders. It can give critical information. If we add now a suppression capability, then we're talking about huge averted losses. And as we are dealing with much more destructive fires, fires which are outside of our span of control now, these require different methods, different tools. For the first time ever, we have this ability to really innovate. And we're working on one of the most important issues that we're facing as humanity, and that is climate change. And climate change is driven by 20% of global CO2 emissions originating from wildfire. If we can cut down on wildfires, we can buy time and actually revert some of the destruction we're seeing. And that's the mission of Dryad.